My art studio in New York City just got a giant upgrade. I really think I'm one of the only art studios that has the power to do this. Welcome back to the studio. If you're new, I'm Slew. We're getting weird. Welcome back to the studio. If you're new, I'm Slew. Welcome back to the studio. As you may or may not know, I have been dreaming about hosting figure drawing sessions in my studio since I moved here over three years ago. And in September of 2023, I finally began opening my studio to the public under the organization Studio Slew. Since September, I've hosted over 40 figure drawing sessions and it's just been super, super wonderful. But I want to be able to do more. What I mean is I want to be able to host more as an art organization. And the next obvious step for me was to start including painting sessions. Painting is a bit more logistically challenging due to the space needed and just more moving parts. You have to put yourself in my shoes, sort of the manufacturer and hostess, one man team of, you know, manufacturing a environment to host said classes, all the moving parts, you know, the website, how to get people from the public here, uh, make everything just run smoothly. It's way easier said than done but I'm doing it. I did it and I got 12 easels waiting outside on a pallet in a truck. So the way I was able to purchase all of these easels was through the super generous donations made to Studio Slew. If you don't know, Studio Slew is my nonprofit organization, um, completely separate from the other things I do at the studio. But the genesis of this organization is to provide the highest quality, most accessible and cheapest art experiences, figure drawing sessions, painting sessions, workshops from other artists, demos, all for the cheapest price and having the highest quality. So the financial structure is sort of normal for nonprofits. I charge for these classes. You could think of it like a yoga class, uh, more of an art gym, quasi art school, but I barely break even. Uh, on charging for each class and session. That's why I rely heavily on donations and fundraisings, just for your information and to give you some insight. Thanks, partner. Got you, brother. So, obviously, we got all 12 of these easels in. So this is the Jack Richardson Dulce easel. It's basically like an H-frame easel. Like, I actually have one right there, if you can see. Um, pretty standard stuff and they're, they're great, they're good quality. These are a different brand than those in the corner, but um, I got 12 of them. We'll see how long they take to put together. Let's... So it looks pretty together, honestly. I thought I was gonna be a little more separated than this. We'll see. It's actually way easier than I thought, which is amazing. I have a bum knee right now, though. My left knee is really all congealed and mafungoed. Ah. First step is to attach these adjustable legs, which is pretty easy. And now we stand it up and I have these side braces. So this screw, yeah, and then like this. So that, that's supported. This just goes down and you tighten it right here. And then the same thing for this thing back here. Boom, and then that's it. And then this could go up, you know, this can go down. And that's the basic H-frame easel, and there's like a million variations of this. Yeah, so let's see how long it takes me to put together all 11 more of these. I'm so happy I'm done, that took an hour and nine minutes exactly. My back hurts and I wanted to finish it for that whole time lapse. But these are super gorgeous. They're really good quality. You know, the thing about wooden easels is they get really messy and sometimes they get creaky and bendy because you use them a lot. You know, you're constantly going like this, holding things, but an easel is an easel is an easel is, is an easel and it's used for a purpose and that's what they're gonna be used for. Now I'm gonna arrange these so I could take a thumbnail. That looks nice, right? Phew! All right, so I'm here with Ashley, <laughs> who helps with some of Hi the guys. stuff at Studio Slu. <laughs> We're gonna set up the easels just to test it out, see the spacing, just see the vibe uh, before people come here next week to paint. So that's what we're gonna do. The drawing horses right here are meant to be sort of side tables for holding pallets and paint you know, like a little mini desk and they're called something specific and I completely forgot, but I know Shannon, this awesome artist, knows the exact word I'm looking for. Shannon, what is the thing called that you were talking about when you stand up, this the, like little shelf to stand next to to paint on? It starts with like a T. Tabaret. Tabaret. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so we just spent 30 minutes setting up the whole 
gauntlet again. This is the easel. We have 12 of them, along with 12 tabourets. Tabourets? And what's a tabouret? <laughs> this is a tabouret. We're gonna have people put their little pallets on top, and then... Yeah, so those are the old drawing horses that we just stood up to the side, because um, obviously people need you know somewhere to put their paint, mix paint, and then they come here to paint. So this is like the setup that I was looking for. And we didn't know how much space there was gonna be, but who knows what the actual setup is with people. You know, if you're looking at the model, which will be right here, you might have to turn these a little. It's more general spacing, but people will be able to do whatever they want, you know, move things around, but pretty successful. It looks pretty awesome. Woo! <laughs> and you can see with these, uh, drawing horses when they're leaning like this they're tilted a little down so you know it's not ideal for painting so what my quick fix is just take a two by four right under here and it's pretty almost darn perfect straight so I just need to rip like 12 more of these pieces on a little table saw so that every single one of these tabarets are level and beautiful so I actually ended up screwing all of these two by fours into here if you could see so that way if people move it you know it's not going anywhere so I just did that with all 12 as well as organized them tilted them so every view to the model to the stage is great and so the big issue is the ones back here you know we don't want any of the um, people in front obstructing the view for the people back here so it took me some time i don't know if you could tell like the weird you know gaps in here but that's all so that the people back here you know we have a direct line right there you're painting right here you have a little window you know this is a smaller window than others but it's still a clear view to the model stand. And so every single spot, all 12, here's another smaller window, um, has an angle to the stage, to the model, whatever we're painting. So that's a big deal and it's hard to do that, especially in this semicircle. but it worked out and I'm super happy. I don't think we could fit more, but I got some more plans for renovations anyways. The studio looks so snazzy. I've been waiting so long to get all these easels to make this painting set up. It's really amazing. You know, I now can offer sort of two configurations, two really amazing sessions at Studio Slough. We got the open figure drawing with the 18 drawing horses for models. And now we have 12 standing easels for painting sessions. I'm actually expanding both of them. I'm getting more easels and I'm getting even more drawing horses. Stay to the end of the video if you wanna see that. But it's not that hard. I mean, obviously I like renovating, moving things around, and that's really fun and I love to do that. But the most fulfilling thing is seeing people in here drawing and painting. Inviting people, getting people here to draw used to be the most stressful part of this whole thing, believe it or not, but not since I created a website with Squarespace, a dedicated platform to house classes, to schedule ticketed classes, for the different events I have here at Studio Slew, Squarespace is by far the best website to build a website. The easiest to use and the most professional looking website builder by far, 24 hour customer service. I use that, you know, they have amazing third party applications for all your e-commerce needs. Me specifically, I could rely so much on their scheduling platform that I use. All the classes I put up, it's really easy. They pay through the website. It gives me way less stress trying to coordinate everyone who's coming to these classes. My nonprofit is always evolving and same with the website. Obviously, if I wanna add more pages, if I wanna change around photos, the easiest drag and drop grid method. Squarespace is a longtime sponsor, also something I use and value. If you want to check it out, go to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to get a domain and build a website, go to squarespace.com slash slew for 10% off. So excited, but let's have everyone over and do our first session. We're here in the Slutio and Studio Slu for the first ever painting session. We have a beautiful live model dressed up in a gorgeous fantasy costume, and we're doing six 20 minute poses. That's plenty of time to lock in exceptional amounts of detail. So we should have some pretty intricate paintings by the time we're done here. So, what is the, what is the outfit we're going for today? Today, I'm putting together like forest fairy renaissance queen. We got the layered white dress with corset. We're going... Elf ears. Elf ears and crown. Behind you, just so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, there's some shadows there. More dynamic, obviously. This is the first session. So this was all a giant test, you know, where the light's gonna be on the model 
testing the flow of everything. This is a seated pose. It's very mellow. We only have two hours, you know, six 20 minute poses, little breaks in between for people to paint. So it's generally portraiture. Um, you could do whatever you want. That's the freedom. It's open painting, but these are all just friends and regulars of Studio Slew that I invited. So this wasn't a ticketed event. This was just the first one to again, test the setup and the flow. And it's really fun. You know, like I said, people and participants are responsible for bringing their own painting materials. Unlike the open drawing sessions I host where I provide all the materials, charcoal and uh, newsprint. This is different. It's more logistically complicated. I can't supply brushes and paint and canvases every single time. So it's sort of bring your own stuff, set up and do whatever you want. People are using oil, which I love acrylic. There's watercolor. People are drawing um, and we're just having fun. You know, in between each 20 minute session, we break people look around you see other people's process you talk about all of the artwork and you know things you're doing so it's really community oriented and it's such an amazing vibe and experience i think at least you know it's hard that's the title of this video to find um painting sessions with live models unless you're in a school or an institution or paying for some you know five six week workshop there's almost nowhere to just paint in this setting with a live model um, in and out in one day. So it's just great. I got to paint a little, you know, I was filming the whole time, but I really did get to step in there quickly to do a little sketch, not my best painting, but you know, it's selfish for me too, because I want to paint. Um, it, it's so exciting and I just love portraiture. So I'm, I'm glad I got at least a little in today. Yay! Critique, Aiden, go. It looks good. You got a lot done for the uh, for filming half the time. I don't know. I like it. I'm. I don't know. I had a lot of fun. It was a great time. I wish I would have had more time to you know put some details yeah. in the costume. But I ha I had a little bit at the end to sort of refine I mean, the features. The, the features. I can't believe how delicate and small it is. It's kind of scary. Right? Thanks. How you get in there. I mean, scary how like accurate and soft, but also detailed it is. I mean, you got those small brushes. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got like these tiny little guys for the for the features. So, yeah, I don't know. I had a great time. You know, the title of this video. I'm the only art studio in New York City to have this. Um, what I mean by that is like, there's nowhere really to paint open painting sessions, a la primo sessions, two, three hours to paint live figures, costumes. Um, that's really for the public. There's a few private places and there's a few places that do it, but there's nothing that's really no commitment, one-off sessions online. Anyone in the public can buy a ticket and come. Um, and so I wanna do that. And I think people want that, you know, people don't wanna sign up for a month session or like a five class session or even three or two. I mean, I would like to do that, but some people just want to come in for one day on the weekend, you know, paint for three hours or two hours. And that's what I'm trying to do at Studio Slew, you know, like an art gym, have a bunch of different experiences open to the public, you know, low stakes, open sessions, including instructed, down the line, but this was like a new evolution, a new era, a new uh, compartment, a new avenue, interstate of what Studio Slew is with these easels. And I'm actually getting more, like I said. This is the state of the studio, the chaos, the craziness, so much sawdust, but I am expanding, like I said. If you watch the end of the video, I appreciate it. Everyone put in Snickle Fritz at the end of the last video, I love that. So if you watch the end of this, comment sawdust. Anyways, this, um, you know, the painting is so exciting with the easels and one of the issues, and again, to fill the void of the genesis of the thesis, the point of Studio Slew is to create a resource for people. I want to make more room so each session can hold more. Not every session sells out, most of them, are full and now just for the future there'll be this many more spaces so I've kind of completed this stage with these two bends so it's like a perfect semicircle two layers <laughs> of semicircles sort of stadium seating style there will be able to be three more standing easels here I believe um, and we got six more drawing horses and hopefully um, it will be awesome. I think it will and I'll have to make another video when it's all done. I have four more days to finish all of this 
a lot of random other things to do. Also decorating, I'm really into like making this environment really inviting and inspiring. So hanging up new lights and paintings back here um, and just customizing more crap in the studio. I love it, guilty pleasure, but it also is a lot of work and I'm on a toy to deadline. But by this Wednesday, March 6th is the first drawing session with the new setup. So I have until then, check it out. Go to studiosu.com if you're in the city. So many people have been coming to these sessions from out of state or on a trip traveling. If you're watching, you know you who you are and it is unbelievably humbling and amazing that you would come here during your time. Um, and it's so cool. So if you're in the city, check it out, studioslu.org. Follow on Studio Slu on Instagram. And I have a bunch of awesome videos coming up. I'm traveling, I'm going to work with Proco. 1000, Kipto, bunch of YouTubers coming up. There's some crazy stuff going on in this spring. But this is it, and that's it. See you in the next video.